Traditional Kerala architecture at its best. Outstanding artistic skills in wood. Inspiring expressions on stone and above all, superb engineering skills make this palace one of its kind in India. The Padmanabhapuram Palace occupies a significant place in the history of Kerala. The palace, located in Kanyakumari district of Tamil Nadu, which is about 55 kilometers south of Tiruvannandapuram, the capital city of Kerala, was once the power center of the erstwhile state of Travancore or Venar during the period from 16th to 18th century. The Padmanabhapuram Palace is considered as the largest wooden palace in India. The palace, spread over 6.5 acres, is situated in the very center of the Padmanabhapuram Fort. The Veli Hills on the eastern side provide a majestic backdrop to the palace, which in the beginning was a small structure. It later underwent expansion and by the end of the 18th century attained its present layout and form. A noted construction feature of the 400-year-old Padmanabhapuram Palace is the black, highly polished, mirror-like floor. It is made of a mixture of lime, burned coconut shells, the whites of eggs, water from tender coconuts, sand, laterite and juices of various herbs. The palace interiors are noted for its elaborate work in wood. Intricate wood carvings in teak and jackfruit tree adorn its ceilings, pillars and railings. Long narrow verandas feature in most of the palace structures. Except for decorative mica pieces on the windows, only local materials comprising wood, laterite, burned bricks, granite and lime have been used for the palace construction. A visitor entering through the Padipura, the main gate of the palace, would first come to the Pumukam, the palace structure where guests are welcomed. The Padipura was once an integral part of old Kerala houses. Here at Padmanabhapuram, the huge doors of the Padipura still stand majestically. Manimaliya, the clock tower, is part of the Pumukam, the working mechanism of which involves heavy weights. Designed by a village mechanic, it is said that the sound of the clock bell could be heard by people within a radius of 3 kilometers. The Pumugam has gabled entrance in traditional style. It features profusely carved rosewood and mahogany ceiling with 90 different types of inverted flowers. Granite coat made of seven pieces of granite, Chinese model throne are some of the attractions of Pumukham. Here at Pumukam, the first floor was used as the mantra shala or the council chamber where the king used to meet and communicate with his ministers. Besides the ornamental throne for the king, there are chairs for the ministers and chiefs. The mantra shala has wooden louvers to admit plenty of air and light, tempered and diffused, helping the temperature inside the hall always constant. The whole structure is about 200 years old. <laughs> <laughs> 